My name is Rachel Lee. I am a firefighter with Dublin Fire Brigade. I am a mum to twins, Bruce and Lex, who are seven. And I married Tom, who's also a firefighter and also an open water swimmer like I am. A winter sea dip you can't beat. The most important thing I got is your number is safety. We are personally responsible for our safety. We don't want to be putting any emergency services under any extra duress. So just to be aware of what you are going out, you're doing of your own accord. The second thing is the weather. Our weather changes so much. Just check what the wind is going to be. The wind direction is really important before you get into the sea. You want to be swimming a couple hours before high tide if possible. Check the sunrise, what time the sun is going to actually rise at or sunset because now it's dark at five o'clock. Don't plan to meet your friends at six o'clock in darkness. It's just, it's going to be cold, visibility, it's just, that's not something you want to be doing. Keep an eye on the air temperature, the water temperature. If you are going to be going for a dip, just focus on the time in the water rather than distance that you're doing. So just get in, slow acclimatization, a slow build is so important. You want to make sure you have a hot water bottle that you can wrap your towel and clothes around so when you get out they're nice and warm. I bring like a litre bottle which I reuse of warm water and I just put it over me after I've been in the water just to keep myself um, a little bit warm. I always would have like a, my flask for have a tea or coffee for afterwards, maybe a little something to eat. And layers, you want to make sure you have easy layers. You don't want to be putting on knickers and bras that are really hard because your fingers are so cold. You want to have layers, pull on boots, socks, gloves, hats. When you're getting for a dip, just make sure you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anybody else. You're motivating yourself to do it. Don't feel like you have to follow the crowd because half of them might be great swimmers, might be swimming all year round. When I was swimming for the um, English Channel, um, I was down in Low Rock or Port Marnock and the twins were only little. And I just started noticing when I was swimming that there was a lot more plastic bottles and plastic in the water, not just on the shoreline. So I was swimming into it and I said, and as, as I was swimming more and more, I noticed it wasn't just at our beaches or other beaches. And I just, I think something like that just happens for a reason. I just said, well, God, so I think I got in contact with you guys or I saw what you um, were doing. And it just kind of um, escalated from there. I think with the pandemic, a lot more people are coming to the beaches and coming to the water and that's brilliant. The sea is for everybody, but they're bringing with them everything else as well. And I think sometimes forget to bring them home. This beautiful resource that we have, but may not always be there. We have to not take it for granted, but we have to really try and look after and have pride in our local amenities and our seas and our waters. We all do our two minute beach clean, things will be a little bit better. Thank you.